Hello, WB9MSM here. Uh, I'm going to check in to Midcars and uh, check out my frequency counter and see how close I am uh, on frequency. Uh, so that's the game plan, and uh, I'm going to share some information. I'm going to get right on frequency here. It meets uh, each day on 7258 mid cars. Yes, good morning there, Jerry. This is Denny, Denny, Delta Echo, Nancy, Nancy Yankee. And uh, the call is Whiskey Baker 9, Mike, Sierra Mike. And I'm located in Watertown, Wisconsin. Hey, uh, Jerry, I've been working the last few uh, days here on the frequency counter. And I'm just kind of curious, am I pretty much on 7258 as far as you're concerned? Over. Me here, uh, I, I were, yeah, I remember you were uh, working on your frequency counter there. WF8I, uh, can you copy the station out of Wisconsin there? Uh, is he on frequency to you down in Toledo? I uh, was not paying attention there, but Wisconsin, go ahead. Yes, good morning, sir. Uh, Denny here in Watertown, Wisconsin. I've been playing around. I'm building a frequency counter. And uh, I'm finding out that uh, uh, I have a drift of about 10 hertz. And uh, I tune it back in from time to time. But after it warms up for a while, uh, then it doesn't drift much at all. So very good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate this. And I don't want to hold it up, but I just wanted to jump in and say good morning and check this out. Over. Like to me, you're on frequency there, but uh, my ears are getting old, so but it sounds good. Yeah, comment on the frequency. I think you're just a touch low, not even a tenth. Oh, that's great! That's great! That's great! That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, very, very good. I appreciate the reports, guys. And I'm putting together a little video, and I want to give a little instruction here on what this frequency counter is all about. I'm running the Swan 500, or 700 here. I'm on the 700 right now. And I'm running roughly right around 200 to 250 watts. So 73, and thank you, Jerry, for picking me up. KB9, OKJ, WB9, MSM, and uh, Midcars. Okay, WB9. MSM, good uh, job with that uh, frequency counter there, uh, uh, there, uh, Denny. Yeah, keep up the good uh, work there. With that, we'll clear with Denny. Let's go down to Tootley Do, as he calls it, Toledo, Ohio. There, Dave, I uh, heard you in there uh, yesterday, and I apologize I couldn't get back to you. I had that phone call and. Oh boy, uh, yeah, got me well, that guy's really got a signal. Quite a while after that, on the phone and everything. I'm going to turn that down and I'm going to focus now on the uh, frequency counter, guys. Okay, this is the frequency counter and uh, it's a PLJ 6 LED. You can pick it up on Amazon, uh, also, you can get it on eBay. It's a relatively inexpensive uh, frequency counter, and uh, it works out extremely well. Uh, I got a little uh, enclosure for it. I have the top part of it is open, and that's done that. I've done that for a reason. 
uh, let me turn on a little light back here. Uh, this is the back of the counter, but I wanted to go inside here and show you what I got here. Uh, basically, uh, if you look at this on the right, this one on the right is a cable that I plugged in, and mine is going to a rig blaster. Uh, a rig blaster that I wasn't using, and it's the wall work power supply for the rig blaster. Uh, supplies 12 volts. Over here on the left, uh, the red uh, wire, that is actually going to the back, uh, the very back of my uh, 700. And I've got it going there, and I put it together into uh, the auxiliary plug, pin number one. I repeat, pin number one. And uh, uh, the other cable uh, can get pinched to uh, uh, the ground there, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very nice uh, little uh, frequency counter. Now, with that said, this frequency counter is programmable. And that's why I got the top open. Uh, if you focus on those two, uh, they will actually, those two little buttons you can kind of see, uh, they will actually program uh, your frequency counter, which is kind of nice because this can work for all different kinds of radios. Now, with the Swan 500 and the Swan 700, uh, the IF offset is uh, 5,500. So you need to do that, uh, program that in. You can also program such things as the uh, brightness of the display, uh, which uh, is kind of nice too. Uh, it goes all the way up to a, a brightness of 8. However, uh, I have to lay it on the line with you. At 8, you can't uh, see it. It's too bright. But I've got mine set on about 3. And uh, there's a possibility I could even be doing it at 2. But anyway, uh, if you want more information about how to set this up, I would uh, ask you to go to Groups.io. I repeat, Groups.io. And uh, look up the Swan Radio. Swan Radio. Uh, we have our own uh, special group there, and a whole bunch of guys uh, that have swans uh, are listed on there. And we do different uh, subject matter. And there's a nice one on there about frequency counters and uh, a very, very nice uh, directions uh, from K8, uh, K8 KZ, Mark. And uh, it's very, very nice. Uh, you'll see it on there. And you follow those directions and you can build uh, this uh, frequency counter. And I would be willing to say you could probably build it for uh, just about any kind of boat anchor out there that doesn't have a digital frequency display. But you have to have the proper offset. So anyway, uh, that's more or less it. I uh, just want to give you a little video here of uh, the frequency uh, counter that I built up, and it works really nice. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with it. So anyway, that's the whole situation there. I don't have too much more to comment on. I uh, want to uh, say 73, and uh, uh, if you want to build this, I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and, and pleased. So 73, my friends. WB9MSM, Watertown, Wisconsin, clear.